flight. This is mad. It's actually mad. Let me just show you this room because it is insane. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This feels really weird filming because I... I don't know, I've been away for like the past week. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen quite a few pictures from my trip. Um, but yeah, I've actually been away in California. I did vlog the whole thing and the first vlog should actually be up already when you're watching this. So I'll try and link it here. It's just on my second channel, which is Soph Does Vlogs. Um, but yeah, I obviously pre-filmed a couple of videos for then. I did miss one video on Wednesday, which I'm really sorry about. Um, but yeah, I don't know why today. I'm just really not feeling like myself. Like. I really don't feel very motivated and I was just saying on Twitter like sometimes I go through phases where I feel super motivated and like super excited to film videos and I film loads and stuff and then other times I just want to like sit behind a computer and edit and I wish that I'd already like had something pre-filmed so that I could just like edit and you know do all the behind the scenes stuff and like not show my face and talk and try and be happy and stuff because I don't know, I'm just having a bad day. I don't really know why, but I thought I'd film anyway because, I don't know, I thought maybe it'd be good to show you guys that, like, I don't know, people that you see online aren't always in the best mood ever. And hopefully I'll try and, like, perk up a bit throughout this video, but I still wanted to film anyway, so if this video has gone up a little bit later tonight, then I'm sorry. It's because, like, I literally just haven't been able to find the motivation to actually sit down and film. I thought I would just sit here quite chilled and just chat about some new makeup and test it out on my face and see what I think. Um, because, yeah, I've got some more makeup to test, so... Let's do it. Okay, so for my moisturizer, I'm using the Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Cream, just because I couldn't find my Soap and Glory one, and I saw this one sitting in my drawer, and I thought, I haven't actually used this in a while, so. My skin has actually been pretty good recently, which is really surprising, considering um, I just did, like, two 11-hour flights. I have actually had this for ages, but I asked you guys on Twitter what your favorite primer is, um, because I don't really like have a holy grail primer. Um, one of you guys recommended the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer and I actually had this already but I've just like not really tried it so I thought I would use it today and see if I like it. I feel like what I said a minute ago like didn't really come across right. What I kind of mean is like I absolutely love this job like it's amazing and I love it and it's seriously like the best job ever. What I was trying to get across a minute ago was like um, yes like I share like quite a lot of my life on social media there's a lot of my life I don't share on social media um, and yeah, like, you know, I post videos like three times a week and it's just kind of difficult when you're in like a bad mood and you want to like stay consistent because like I really try my best to get three videos up a week. I know that um, sometimes they're on like different days and sometimes I don't manage three a week. Um, but, you know, I really want to try my best to stay consistent because yeah, like YouTube, it did start as my hobby and then it just kind of accidentally became my job and now it's like my way of like, you know, it's like my career, I guess. Um, and I don't know, it's just kind of tricky when you're trying to like get content out and you're like in a really bad mood. When you're in a really like shitty mood and you're trying to film and like try and pretend to be happy, it just doesn't really work. Um, so if I do seem not really myself in this video then that is why. A lot of these products are going to be drugstore, um, some of them are also high end, I've kind of got like a mixture of stuff here. For my foundation, one that I've discovered recently and I actually cannot believe that I've not tried it until now, um, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter and this video is not sponsored. Like yes, I went on the trip with Urban Decay to California which was amazing um, and they very kindly took me on that trip but this video isn't sponsored. I've just been testing out these foundations because obviously um, I was going on the trip with them and Emma has always raved about these foundations. I'm pretty sure like this is like her favorite foundation for going out and she said it's super long lasting. I'd never tried it before because I didn't think it was gonna be light enough for me. Um, and I'd never actually swatched it in store because I'd heard that it oxidizes, which it does. I have these shades 05 and 1 and I actually can kind of get away with 1. Um, 05, 05 is a little bit more pale, um, but I'm just gonna show you what 1 looks like. Wait, should I do a little swatch of both of these? I think just when you're like matching your shade, go into a store, get it swatched on your neck or something and just like wait until it oxidizes until you see like what color you are. So that one there is shade one and then this one is 0 0.5. Well, they both kind of work for me. Like, you know, I can get away with both of them. I think I'm gonna use shade one. I'm always kind of skeptical with high-end foundations cause I'm scared that I'm gonna like spend my money and then not like it if you get what I mean. Um, so that's why I don't really try that many high-end foundations. Yeah, this foundation is so good. I wore it the whole day when we were at Disney in America and I literally, I think we ended up, I woke up at like five in the morning that day and then we didn't get back to like 
half 11 at night and I was just really, really impressed with the lasting power of this foundation and I was like, you know what? Emma was right. Why have I not tried this until now? So I'm just using the shade one and I'm just gonna bounce that in with my Sport FX sponge. Yeah, as you can see, it's like really, really full coverage. So if you like a bit more natural makeup, then maybe you wouldn't like this, but I quite like a little bit of full coverage. Like, look at this. <laughs> What have you guys been up to? I feel like I haven't like chatted to you in a while. I haven't replied to any comments in a while because obviously I was away all of last week. And then this weekend, it's been Easter weekend and my brother was home, my family was over. So I haven't really had a chance to like read through your comments. So let me know down below, like what have you guys been up to? This foundation is pretty matte. Like it does kind of dry down. I don't really know if you can see. And then to go with this, I'm using the All Nighter Concealer as well. I use the shade Fair Warm, which I think is the lightest shade. They've got Fair Neutral, but it's a little bit more pink. It's really reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape so if you are trying to get your hands on Tarte Shape Tape and you can't find it um, then I would definitely recommend this concealer because it's so full coverage I literally put on this amount and then it just spreads so much and like I don't know it's just got really really good coverage but yeah it does set quite fast so I put it under my eyes first and then I go in with the rest of my face. If you don't want to go out and spend the money, just like go and get a sample and test it out and see what you think. It's kind of dried down now. Can you see it's dried a tiny bit darker? We did get a chance on the last day to do a little bit of shopping before we went back to the airport. And we went to a CVS, which is like an American like drugstore, I think. And I got two different powders. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05 Fair. This is the one that Nikki Tutorials always raves about, so I had to try it. And then I also, oh God. And then also from Sephora, Sephora, I got one thing, and this is the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in 06 Warm Porcelain. This looks like a dupe for the MAC um, Studio Fix Powder Foundation, which I absolutely love. Um, that is such a good powder because it offers like coverage, and I really, really am trying to find like a drugstore powder foundation that is kind of like a dupe for that. But this Sephora one was actually a little bit cheaper. I think it was $20, which I think is about like 15, 16 pounds. I could be wrong. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline one to set under my eyes. Whoa, that's really light. Also, I wore this to my best friend's birthday party the other day, it was her 21st, and it didn't flash back in the photos. I really wish we could get this powder in the UK, because it's a really light colour. And I just realised I was gonna just use that under my eyes, and I've just used it all over my face. I did actually wear this Sephora powder yesterday, I did like a bit of concealer, ah, something's in my eye. Ow, 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 ow. I wore this powder yesterday, and I actually really like it, it definitely adds a little bit of coverage. For my eyebrows, I'm testing the Balm Ferocious, Ferocious brow pencil and these are just like some skinny little brow pencils this is the only new brow product that i had to test i'm sorry that it's not drugstore but um i will always talk about drugstore products on my channel you guys don't worry i'm not going to turn into somebody that literally uses high-end makeup in every single video like my brows are so thick at the moment i actually really like this brow pencil i think that worked really nicely and it's a really good shade i used the shade light brown so i don't actually have anything new to like contour and bronze with but i did say that i was going to start doing like random giveaways in the middle of my video videos just for you guys to actually like watch my videos and enjoy my videos and like interact with me and stuff there's just um you know a mixture of different products in here i've got the la Roc cream contour palette the la Roc blush palette and a la Roc eyeshadow palette in here there's just kind of like a mixture of makeup so if you guys want to experiment with your makeup or you want to like share it out between your friends then that is totally cool um if you want to enter just like leave me down there like some purple emojis and just a comment about something and if you don't have any emojis on whatever device you're using then just say the words purple emoji i guess okay so quickly for my contour i'm using the bleach london continuity powder in bones 4 i literally use this every day and it still looks like i haven't touched it and then for bronzer i'm using my kiko fall 2.0 baked bronzer um this is so good and i'm really sad that it was limited edition but kiko bronzers in general are just so good and then for my blush i have the sleek blush by three palette in sugar i recently got sent it because i think sleek are now on asos these two shades i think are going to be too dark for me but i'm going to use this one here because it does look really pretty this one actually isn't that pigmented which is kind of good in a way because sometimes you know when you dip your brush in a blush and it's like hella pigmented and then you just can't blend it out whereas this one is actually kind of like buildable which i like and then for my highlight oh my goodness physicians formula in america have just well i don't know 
if they've just launched them, but they definitely weren't there like when I went to America in the summer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. I love their butter bronzer, like it's amazing. It smells delicious, it blends so nicely. So I had to try one of these and this is in the shade Pearl. Um, it's got the really cool like pattern on it. Oh my God, it smells. It feels like the ColourPop highlighters. You know how they feel like a little bit wet and it feels a little bit like a cream highlighter. Um, but like, oh my God, I wore this the other day and it's actually insane. Wait, let me just, let me just put it on my face. But it works really nicely with a brush and it actually like sits on top of foundation nicely. But, oh my God, guys, look at that. If you're in the UK, you might be able to find these on Amazon. I'm not sure. I'll see what I can do. And if you can get them, I'll link them down below. But if not, then I'm really sorry. But hopefully this will be, you know, a good thing for my American viewers because I do talk about UK products a lot. Doing this video has made me kind of realise that in my videos, I feel like I'm a lot more perky than normal. Um, and I see it in a lot of people's videos, actually. Like, they put on this crazy, happy, loud, bubbly kind of personality and a lot of people like that in real life like they're not like that, like it's a very hard kind of um, personality to, you know, keep up with because you just can't be that happy and bouncy and bubbly and excited like all the time um, I think if you guys watch my vlogs you'll probably know that I'm a little bit more like chilled um, but yeah, I hope you don't mind that today I'm not as like I don't know, I feel like I'm not as fun as normal. I got this from Beauty Bay. This is the Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, the Latte palette. And I feel like I've been living under a rock because this is actually made by a YouTuber. Um, I'll try and remember to link her channel down below. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, which is so, so bad and I feel really bad. Is that really offensive? Um, But yeah, I had not, never actually heard of the YouTuber that made this palette, but I've seen her like on Instagram and stuff and she's absolutely stunning. But she has her own brand called Dominique and and this is the Latte palette. Ooh. I just think the packaging is beautiful. It's really pretty. Um, and then you open it up and these are what these shades look like. I've done a couple of swatches and this looks so nice. So I'm starting with the shade Vanilla Cream, which is this vanilla cream sort of color. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. And then going in with the shade Caramel, which is this one. I think I'm gonna try and do something other than my standard kind of warm smoky eye today. Um, cause there is a purple and there is a kind of teal turquoise colour in here. That blended so nicely, look at that blend. And I'm going to take the shade Mocha, which is this dark brown. I'm taking this shade called Cold Brew, which is this turquoisey teal kind of colour. And again, I'm taking this on a flat brush, that is really pigmented. <laughs> and I'm gonna pack this on the outer and inner part of my eye. And I'm doing, I'm gonna do like a halo sort of eye today. Oh my god, these are so pigmented, I'm kind of scared. And then I'm going back in with my blending brush. I know that these kind of like teal colours, it always seems to be teals that are like really tricky to formulate. I mean it's okay, but I'm just gonna go back in with another layer because I feel like I want it to be more pigmented. And on this eye, it doesn't seem to want to blend as nicely. Okay, my advice with this is like, don't be too messy with it when you place it down because it does kind of like want to just sit where you've placed it. So the most pigment will be in the areas where you've placed it down. I'm just going back into a bit of the shade Caramel, which is the one that I used in my crease. I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend out the edges. It's a shame because the other colors work really nicely. I mean, it's still fine, but I don't know. I just can never, I've never found an eyeshadow palette where like a teal blue color has like blended nicely. This concealer is so good for cut creases. Um, it's the All Nighter, which I used on my face. Putting it in the center of your lid and then looking up. Oh, that looked really creepy. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna cut the crease where that is transferred. This is only just like one method of doing it. You do not have to cut your crease this high. I'm gonna take the shade Machia, Machia. I am so dumb, that says Macchiato, right? <laughs> this one right here. Wait, let me just swatch these two. This one is Espresso and this one is Macchiato. Oh my goodness, these are stunning. They're so nice, look at those two shades. This one is Espresso, this one is Macchiato. Macchiato. <laughs> Let's try a bit of espresso first. 
Oh my god, these shimmers are so, so pretty. I'm just kind of blending over the edges of the concealer a little bit. Um, I'm just going to then go back in with the blue. And I'm just going to add this onto the outer corners and the inner corners again and I'm just going to try and like blend it. Honestly, I think the way to go with this palette is to do like a halo eye because that actually turned out so nice. And then also just taking that blue onto my lower lash line. And finally on my inner corners, I'm taking the shade Macchiato, 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 whatever the hell that word is. This palette is stunning. The shimmers are so gorgeous. I'm using the Mimi Expert liner and this is the brand that I used in my full face of brands I've never heard of, I think. But I didn't test the liner, so I'm testing it today. It's one of the ones with a brush. Okay, that'll do. Um, that is a really, really nice eyeliner. I like that a lot. And for my mascara, I'm using the NYX Worth the Hype. It's quite a natural mascara, like it's pretty wispy. It doesn't clump, which is good, but you guys know me, I quite like clumpy eyelashes. I'm gonna try on the other eye, the Iconic mascara because I've had this sitting in my drawer for ages and I'm so curious to see how it works. Again, I know it's not drugstore, but I just really want to test it. The brush is really small. And it's got plastic bristles. Okay, so it's not bad, but again, it's just like not my favorite. Actually, with the second coat, that actually looks quite nice. <laughs> I think this look is quite like a wearable way to wear like bluey green eyeshadows. I've got a couple of the new NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. They've just launched lots of new nude shades. I'm gonna try the shade Cape Town, but it does look quite light. I really like this shade, it's really nice, but I would definitely recommend having exfoliated lips before you put it on. And for my lashes, I'm gonna actually use the Ardell Accent Magnetic Lashes. They come in a little thing like this, and I do have a full video on these, but in that video, I didn't actually like them. When I've got like my actual full makeup done, these little corner lashes, they just, kind of works as you put on the top oh god and then you get the bottom ones and they just kind of magnet together it does take like a couple of tries to get used to them okay the other day when i wore these they did look completely normal but i feel like i've kind of messed them up a bit today oh and then to set everything in place i'm using the urban decay all nighter i haven't been able to dupe this in the drugstore like i've tried other drugstore setting sprays but i just haven't been able to find one that actually like keeps my makeup on and I feel like this one actually does. I don't know if it's a placebo effect. I don't think it is because when I wear this on my face, like a lot of the time I wear it to like nights out and stuff. Like I wore this to my best friend's 21st the other day. I get less shiny in like less time. Does that make sense? It basically just like prolongs the amount of time that my makeup is on before I start getting oily. I think that makes sense. So this is the finished look. Hopefully you can kind of like see what the lashes look like here. Okay guys, so that is it from me. That is my full face done. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I wasn't like, you know, my normal self in it. Um, hopefully I will get my motivation back. I'm definitely gonna be reviewing the LA Girl matte foundation that just came out because I did just get that to test. And also I'm gonna try and get my hands on the Revolution Pro like full coverage camouflage foundation and concealer and do a video on that as well. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see, um, just let me know. Tweet me, like I'm always active on Twitter or like just leave me a comment down below. And yeah, that is it from me. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I hope you had an amazing Easter. Thank you for all of your like love and support as always. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.